Have you ever wondered what makes Italy one of the most captivating countries on earth? The question itself brims with anticipation, doesn't it? The allure of Italy is not just one feature or element, but a grand tapestry woven from rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning natural beauty. Italy, a country nestled in the heart of Europe, is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. Its charm lies in its diversity, a fascinating blend of regions, each bearing its own unique characteristics. From the snowy peaks of the Alps in the north to the sun-kissed beaches of the south, Italy is a patchwork quilt of varied landscapes, each piece as captivating as the last. The history of Italy is a grand saga that spans millennia. It's a tale told through the colossal Roman Colosseum, the intricate frescoes of the Sistine Chapel, and the weathered stone of ancient Pompeii. Every cobblestone street, every grand cathedral, every rustic villa whispers tales of emperors and artists, wars and renaissances, tragedy and triumph. But Italy isn't just about history. Its culture is as vibrant and diverse as its landscapes. Imagine the melodious strains of a Verdi opera filling the night air in Milan, the fierce passion of a paleo horse race in Siena, or the riotous colors of a Venetian carnival. Each tradition, each festival, each art form is a thread in the rich cultural tapestry that is Italy. And let's not forget the natural beauty. Italy's scenery is a feast for the senses, from the emerald hills of Tuscany, rippling with vineyards and olive groves, to the azure waters of the Amalfi Coast, the dramatic cliffs of Cinque Terre, and the towering majesty of the Dolomites. Then there's the food, a symphony of flavors that tells a story of its own. From the hearty pastas of Bologna to the fresh seafood of Sicily, from the robust wines of Piedmont to the sweet treats of Naples, Italian cuisine is a journey in itself. So why don't we embark on this captivating journey to experience Italy's most fascinating places? Picture this, golden sunsets bathing endless rolling hills, an array of vineyards and rustic farmhouses. Welcome to Tuscany. Cradled in the heart of Italy, Tuscany is a living canvas, painted with the hues of earthy browns and vibrant greens, sprinkled with the occasional burst of bright red poppies. Its landscapes are iconic, a harmonious blend of nature and man-made wonders, where vineyards and olive groves march in neat rows across hills, watched over by towering cypress trees. It's as if Mother Nature herself took up the brush and palette, painting a picture of serenity and beauty that leaves you breathless. In the midst of this idyllic panorama, you'll find medieval gems such as Siena and San Gimignano. Siena, with its distinct fan-shaped central square, the Piazza del Campo, is a testament to the grandeur of the past. Its brick buildings, aged by time but not diminished in their dignity, whisper stories of the city's rich history. The annual Paleo Horse Race, a tradition dating back to the 17th century, adds an exciting dash of color and fervor to the city's serene, historic charm. Then there's San Gimignano, known as the Manhattan of the Middle Ages, for its skyline of towering medieval stone towers. Walking through its narrow, cobbled streets is like stepping back in time, offering glimpses of the world as it was hundreds of years ago. Its historic center, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a treasure trove of art and architecture that takes you on a journey through the ages. Tuscany is not just about the visual grandeur, it's about a sensory experience. The region is world-renowned for its wines, with vineyards stretching as far as the eye can see. The Chianti region, nestled between Florence and Siena, is particularly famous for its ruby-red wines that are as rich in taste as they are in history. Wine lovers will find themselves in paradise with the opportunity to tour these vineyards, learn about the winemaking process, and of course sample the exquisite wines. But it's not just the wine that's worth savoring in Tuscany. The region's culinary offerings are a gastronomic delight. From the simple yet flavorful Tuscan bread and pecorino cheese to the hearty ribolita soup and the traditional Florentine steak, every dish is a celebration of the region's agricultural bounty and the love and care that goes into preparing each meal. Tuscany's charm, however, lies not just in its landscapes, its history, or its food and wine. It's in the tranquility that pervades the region, a soothing lull that invites you to slow down, to take a moment to appreciate the beauty around you. This is not a place for the hurried or the harried. This is a place to embrace the Italian concept of la dolce far niente, the sweetness of doing nothing. It's about sitting back with a glass of Chianti, watching the sunset paint the sky with shades of orange and pink, and feeling the gentle Tuscan breeze on your face. 
Tuscany then is more than just a destination. It's an experience, a journey into a world where beauty, history, and tranquility coexist in perfect harmony. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the serenity of the landscapes, immerse yourself in the richness of its history, indulge your taste buds with its culinary delights, and let the essence of La Dolce Vita seep into your soul. Tuscany, a place where time slows down to let you savor the essence of La Dolce Vita. From the echoes of an ancient empire to the hustle and bustle of a modern metropolis, Rome is a city like no other. As we traverse the historic streets of the Eternal City, we are surrounded by remnants of a civilization that once ruled the world and a vibrant culture that continues to enchant and inspire. Our journey begins with the remarkable Colosseum, a testament to the grandeur of the ancient Roman Empire. This colossal amphitheater, once the stage for gladiatorial contests and public spectacles, now stands as a symbol of Rome's imperial might. Its imposing structure, built of concrete and sand, has withstood the test of time, much like the city itself. Walking through its massive arches, you can almost hear the cheers of the crowd, feel the adrenaline of the gladiators, and catch a glimpse of Rome's glorious past. A stone's throw away from the Colosseum, we find the Roman Forum. Once the heart of the Roman Empire, this sprawling complex of ruined temples, basilicas, and public spaces paints a vivid picture of Roman life. The whispers of orations once delivered here, the echoes of merchants haggling, and the shadows of citizens going about their daily affairs all contribute to the sense of stepping back in time. But Rome is not just a relic of the past. As we venture further, we discover a city teeming with life, brimming with energy and bursting with flavors. The aroma of freshly baked pizza wafts through the air, mingling with the sweet scent of gelato. The sound of laughter and conversation fills the trattorias and piazzas. Each narrow alley and cobblestone street tells a story. Each corner reveals a new surprise. Next, we head to the iconic Pantheon, a marvel of ancient architecture. Its massive dome, once the largest in the world, still inspires awe. The oculus, a circular opening at the dome's apex, casts a beam of light that moves across the interior, marking the passage of time. As the best preserved monument of Imperial Rome, the Pantheon serves as a bridge between the ancient and the modern, a testament to Rome's enduring legacy. Our journey through Rome would not be complete without a visit to Vatican City, the smallest independent state in the world. Encompassed within Rome, this city-state is a world unto itself. It's home to St. Peter's Basilica, the world's largest church, and the Sistine Chapel, adorned with Michelangelo's breathtaking frescoes. Here, amidst the solemnity and splendor, one can sense the profound impact of faith and art on the city's character. Rome is a city of contrasts, where the old and the new coexist in harmony. It's a city where history is lived and relived every day, where every stone has a tale to tell, where the past and the present are deeply intertwined. From the grandeur of its ancient monuments to the vibrancy of its modern life, from the richness of its culinary tradition to the warmth of its people, Rome offers an experience like no other. No matter how many times you walk its historic streets, no matter how well you think you know it, Rome always has something new to reveal something unexpected to offer, something more to love. It's a city that captivates, inspires, and leaves you yearning for more. Rome, where every step is a journey through time, is a city that never ceases to amaze. Imagine a place where the mountains meet the sea, creating a dramatic landscape of sheer cliffs and vibrant terraced towns. That's the Amalfi Coast for you. Let's embark on a journey to this stunning stretch of coastline in southern Italy. Nestled in the region of Campania, the Amalfi Coast is a dazzling mosaic of craggy cliffs and sparkling seas, lush terraces, and pastel-colored villages. It is a place where nature and human ingenuity have come together to create an extraordinary masterpiece. But the allure of the Amalfi Coast isn't confined to its breathtaking vistas. The picturesque towns that dot this coast, each with its unique charm and character, are integral to its appeal. Let's start with Positano, the coast's most photogenic town. Positano is a cascade of pastel-colored houses tumbling down to the sea, a labyrinth of narrow, winding streets filled with vibrant boutiques and charming cafes. It's a place that feels like a dream painted in hues of pink, peach, and terracotta. Yet, the Amalfi Coast isn't just about Positano. Venture a little further, and you'll find Ravello, perched high above the sea. Known as the City of Music, Ravello is a haven for art and culture enthusiasts. 
The town is home to two iconic villas, Villa Rufolo and Villa Timbrone, both renowned for their stunning gardens and panoramic views. Ravello is also famous for its annual music festival, where the sounds of classical symphonies echo through the centuries-old villas and gardens. The Amalfi Coast is also steeped in a rich tapestry of history. Originally a Roman settlement, it later became a powerful maritime republic during the Middle Ages. Today, traces of its glorious past can be found in the grand cathedrals, ancient fortifications, and historic villas that punctuate the landscape. But what makes the Amalfi Coast truly special is the Mediterranean lifestyle that permeates every corner of this region. Life here moves at a slower pace. It's about savoring the simple pleasures, a leisurely stroll along the pebbled beach, a refreshing dip in the turquoise sea, a lingering lunch in a seaside trattoria, or a sunset aperitivo on a terrace overlooking the sea. And let's not forget the exceptional local cuisine. The Amalfi Coast is a gastronomic paradise, boasting a diverse array of culinary delights. From the fresh seafood drizzled with local olive oil to the sweet, sun-ripened lemons used to make the famous limoncello liqueur, the food here is a celebration of the region's bountiful produce. And of course, no meal is complete without a glass of the locally produced wine, which perfectly complements the flavors of the Amalfi Coast. As we wrap up our journey along this stunning coastline, it's clear why the Amalfi Coast is a must-visit destination. It's a place that offers something for everyone. The breathtaking scenery, the charming towns, the rich history, the relaxed lifestyle, and the mouth-watering cuisine. But more than just a travel destination, the Amalfi Coast is an experience, a feeling, a state of mind. It's a place that captures your heart and stays with you long after you've left. The Amalfi Coast, with its captivating beauty and charm, is truly a slice of paradise on Earth. Venice, a city built on water where gondolas glide silently through winding canals and majestic palaces reflect on the shimmering waters. Welcome to Venice, the city of masks, bridges, and romance. Venice is a city unlike any other. No cars, no roads, just canals and boats. The city is a maze of narrow lanes, bridges, and passageways opening suddenly onto the breathtaking sight of the Grand Canal or the lovely quiet solitude of a hidden piazza. Venice is a testament to the grandeur of Italian architecture. The city is a living museum, its buildings a blend of Byzantine, Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque influences. The undulating facades of the buildings, with their richly decorated windows and balconies, seem to emerge from the waters, creating an ethereal and otherworldly landscape. The heart of Venice is the iconic St. Mark's Square, a grand open space that houses the spectacular St. Mark's Basilica, with its five domes and the soaring Campanile bell tower. The square is a place of gathering, a stage for the city's vibrant life, where locals and visitors alike come to enjoy a coffee, listen to orchestral music, or simply bask in the beauty that surrounds them. Adjacent to the square is the Doge's Palace, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. Once the home of the Doge, the supreme authority of the former Republic of Venice, the palace is an emblem of the city's power and wealth during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Today, it stands as a museum, offering a fascinating journey through the city's history. The history of Venice is a tale of courage and ingenuity. Founded by refugees fleeing from barbarian invasions in the 5th century, Venice became a major maritime power in the Middle Ages, known as the Queen of the Adriatic. The city's strategic location and its skillful diplomacy allowed it to control trade routes in the Mediterranean and amass incredible wealth. But the true charm of Venice lies in its canals. The city is crisscrossed by over 150 canals, the largest being the Grand Canal, which snakes through the city in a reverse S shape. The canals serve as the city's arteries, carrying people and goods in a constant gentle ballet of gondolas and vaporettos. Exploring Venice by gondola is an experience like no other. As you glide through the narrow, winding canals under the countless bridges, you'll get a glimpse of hidden gardens, elegant palazzos, and secret corners of the city not visible from the land. You'll hear the gentle lapping of the water, the distant tolling of church bells, the soft serenade of the gondolier. It's a journey into the soul of Venice, a dance with its past, a serenade to its beauty. And as night falls, Venice takes on a whole new persona. The city becomes a realm of shadows and whispers, of flickering lamplights reflected on the dark waters, of mysterious figures disappearing around corners. 
It's a city that entices and enchants, that invites you to lose yourself in its labyrinth and find yourself in its charm. Venice is not just a city, it's an experience, a dream. It's an invitation to step out of the ordinary and into the extraordinary, to let the rhythms of the water guide your day, to surrender to the magic of a city that seems to have been spun out of moonlight and dreams. Venice, a city that seems to float on water, is an enchanting labyrinth of history, art, and romance. It's a city that captivates the heart, that sparks the imagination, that invites you to return again and again. And each time you do, you'll discover something new, something unexpected, something magical. Welcome to the Dolomites, where towering peaks rise majestically against the sky, creating a stunning spectacle of nature's grandeur. Imagine a place where the earth reaches for the heavens, where sheer cliffs of white and gray rock jut into the sky, draped in a cloak of snow and ice. This is the Dolomites, a mountain range in northeastern Italy that forms part of the southern limestone Alps. The Dolomites are more than just a mountain range. They are a testament to the raw, unfiltered beauty of nature. Like a masterpiece painted by Mother Nature herself, the Dolomites are a kaleidoscope of colors and landscapes. Picture emerald green valleys nestled between towering peaks, carpets of wildflowers that spread across alpine meadows in the spring, and the warm hues of larch forests that set the mountains ablaze in a riot of colors in the fall. As the seasons change, so does the face of the Dolomites, each transformation more breathtaking than the last. But the Dolomites are not just for looking at. They invite you to immerse yourself in their beauty to become an active participant in the natural spectacle they present. Imagine strapping on your hiking boots and setting off on a trail that leads you through verdant valleys, past shimmering lakes, and up to the dizzying heights of the mountain peaks. The Dolomites are crisscrossed by hundreds of hiking trails, each offering its unique set of challenges and rewards. In the winter, the mountains transform into a playground for winter sports enthusiasts. Picture yourself gliding down pristine ski slopes the crisp mountain air in your lungs, the powdery snow under your skis. Whether you're an experienced skier looking for a challenge or a beginner eager to learn, the Dolomites offer something for everyone. But the Dolomites are not just about the landscapes and outdoor adventures. They are also a place of cultural fusion, a meeting point of Italian and Austrian cultures. This is reflected in the region's architecture, traditions, and of course, its food. Imagine sitting down to a meal that blends the best of Italian and Austrian cuisines, a hearty plate of canaderli, bread dumplings seasoned with speck, a type of smoked ham, and served with a generous helping of melted butter. Or perhaps you'd prefer a slice of apple strudel, a sweet pastry filled with thinly sliced apples, raisins, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. These are the tastes of the Dolomites, as satisfying to the palate as the landscapes are pleasing to the eye. The Dolomites are also a place of history and heritage. They have witnessed the ebb and flow of civilizations, the rise and fall of empires. This is the land of the ancient Ladin people, who have lived in these mountains for thousands of years and still preserve their unique language and traditions. Imagine walking through the streets of a Ladin village, the houses adorned with traditional wood carvings, the air filled with the sound of a language that has echoed through these valleys for centuries, the Dolomites are not just a place, they are an experience. They invite you to lose yourself in their beauty, to test your limits against their slopes, to savor the flavors of their cuisine, to immerse yourself in their culture. They are a place where nature and culture intertwine, where the grandeur of the landscapes is matched only by the richness of the experiences they offer. And at the end of the day, as the sun sets and the sky is set ablaze with colors, you will find yourself at the foot of these majestic peaks, looking up at the stars that seem so close you could almost touch them. And you will realize that you are not just in the Dolomites, you are a part of them. The Dolomites, a haven for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers, is a place where the mountains touch the heavens. Welcome to Sicily, an island that's a world unto itself, with a unique culture that's as vibrant as its landscapes. Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, is a treasure trove of history, heritage, and hues. A place where the past and the present blend seamlessly, Sicily has been touched by a multitude of civilizations, each leaving its indelible mark. From the ancient Greeks and Romans to the Arabs and Normans, Sicily's rich tapestry of history is woven with diverse threads. 
The unique traditions of Sicily are a reflection of this eclectic history. Whether it's the captivating puppet theater known as Opera Dei Pupi, a UNESCO-recognized art form, or the rousing folk music and dances that fill the air during festivals, Sicilian culture is a vibrant spectacle to behold. The island's distinctive charm is further amplified by traditional events like the Almond Blossom Festival in Agrigento, where the arrival of spring is celebrated with music, dance, and food, encapsulating the zest for life that Sicilians are known for. Speaking of food, Sicilian cuisine is a gastronomic delight. A melting pot of flavors, it's a testament to the island's cultural crossroads. Savor the sweetness of cannoli, a tube-shaped shell of fried pastry dough filled with a sweet, creamy filling. Relish the tangy caponata, a medley of eggplant, celery, and capers in a sweet and sour sauce. And let's not forget about the island's seafood dishes, fresh from the Mediterranean. Each mouthful is a journey through Sicily's diverse culinary heritage. But the allure of Sicily is not just in its history, traditions, and food. The island is also blessed with stunning landscapes. From the smoldering majesty of Mount Etna, Europe's highest active volcano, to the shimmering turquoise waters of the Scala di Turci, a rocky cliff on the coast, Sicily is a feast for the eyes. The island's natural beauty is complemented by its architectural gems, such as the magnificent Valley of the Temples in Agrigento, a testament to Sicily's ancient Greek past. At the heart of Sicily's vibrant culture is the warm hospitality of its people. Sicilians are known for their friendliness and their love for la dolce vita, the sweet life. They are proud of their island, their heritage and their traditions, and they are eager to share them with visitors. Walking down the streets of Sicilian towns, you'll find open doors, smiling faces, and an invitation to experience the Sicilian way of life. Sicily, with its intoxicating mix of cultures and flavors, is a destination that leaves a lasting impression. The island's vibrant culture, rich history, delicious food, and stunning landscapes create a sensory overload that will remain etched in your memory long after you've left its shores. Indeed, Sicily is not just a place, it's an experience, a feeling, a state of mind. And once you've experienced it, you'll understand why it's said that Sicily is not part of Italy. It's a world unto itself.